Right, today on the menu we're doing a curry. We're doing lamb kofta curry. So it's beautiful lamb mince and all these like herbs and spices and aromats which we're going to put into it. We're going to make little meatballs, fry them off, and then we've got this beautiful, rich, full of flavour curry uh, sauce which we're going to finish the meatballs off. And, um, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. And then the sauce is just slightly thickened, these beautiful cashew nuts. It's full of flavour, it's really simple, and I'm going to show you to do it a little bit later on this show. Now it's back over to you guys. Mark, you're making a lovely lamb kofta curry. So what exactly is kofta? So kofta, so it's, a, it's, a, it's like a mince mix. Oh, yeah. Um, so you normally you get it, you make this dry sort of uh, spice mince mix and you put it around the sticks and they put it in the tandoor. Nice. Or they uh, cook it over charcoal, so it's the same sort of thing as that. But we're going to make the mix, we're going to make them into little wrists rolls or meatballs, fry them off and then finish them off in this beautiful curry sauce. Okay, cool. Well, let's get going. So it's really good. So it's really simple. So first job is uh, obviously to make the uh, lamb mix. Yes. So we've got some uh, lamb mince. Yum. So we got that. So just going to break that up. Actually, you can do that. Okay, I can break it up. Yes. Uh, as you're doing that, I'm going to season it. Okay, nice. So this is teamwork here. Yeah. All right, so a good bit of salt and pepper in there. And then we've got some ingredients here. We've got some um, ginger, just some crushed ginger. Okay. So that goes in there. So it's all about getting as much flavour as you can in here. Uh, some coriander seeds. Oh, yum. And some Jesse's, garlic. Jesse's some garlic. Man, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the seeds actually taste different. So the oh, seeds, oh, yeah, right. yeah, so it doesn't taste like a soapy coriander, which Jesse had. <laughs> soapy um, coriander. <laughs> yeah, have you ever tried them? Wonder, yeah, yeah, I can, I can <laughs> so they, they actually good. taste sort of quite citrusy and orangey. Oh, but yum. they're really nice, and it's nice to put them in stuff because as it cooks, it releases that flavour, and then it's sort of you can you bite on it, it's like pops, it's really good. Nice. Uh, an egg just to bind it all together. Yep. Um, but we are going to put uh, fresh coriander in there. <laughs> oh, nice. So it will taste of soap. So, um, oh, more, look at, look more at that fancy us. chopping boards that we've got. These are really good uh, because these boards here are colour coded so you can use different boards for different types of food. So the green one clearly is for your so vegetables. vegetables. Herbs and yep. vegetables. You're right. Right, so that goes in. And the good thing is, is that they are made so beautifully that, you know, when you use plastic chopping boards, they sometimes leave a mark. Even mark. Look at that, there's no marks. Okay. Right, so, and then we've got some breadcrumbs as well, so yes. just a little bit of uh, breadcrumb in there and it's just going to hold it all together and it will just expand slightly and make it nice and moist when we cook it. Okay, so cool. once all that's mixed together, then you can wash your hands and then you want to get your hands in here and then you want to sort of squeeze and uh, roll it so as you squeeze in, compact it and then you can just give it a roll and you get these nice beautiful little um, Balls. Oh, nice work. Well, hang on, let me find the meat one for that. Okay, because these are from Zanian. Do you know what all the colours are? Um, blue is... Fish. Fish. It's on the back, there you go. <laughs> and What's this one, like? that is just for hot things. <laughs> and it's got a picture of a pot on it, so I'd use that for hot is things. It, the pink one for flowers. And that one, is, no, that one's for our meat, so we can use the... So that's raw meat, and then that's cooked meat. Nice. Okay, brilliant. We love this. Okay, yeah, so I'm putting in the wrong colour. Okay, nice. Right, so we're just making, just making like nice little shapes. So just make sure they're all even size. Okay. Well, you can help as well. Oh, really? Fine. Okay, cool. I'll just wash my hands quickly. And then a little bit of oil. I'm just going to start to get a bit of colour and uh, just on there. You don't have to. You can just cook them straight from raw if you want in the sauce a bit later. But I always find it's nice to uh, just get a nice bit of uh, colour to your meatballs. Gives it a little bit of texture, extra little bit of flavour. You're not going to cook it all the way because we will finish that in the sauce a little bit later. Okay, nice work. And then when we come back, we're going to make the sauce. I'm going to show you how simple, how fast it is, and you know how to get all this flavour with all these spices through this sauce. It's really, it's a really good, it's a really simple dish. Nice work. Okay, it's starting to smell incredible, and we're only just at the first stage of it. So we'll come back very soon and show you how you do the rest of it. By the way, if you would like some of these chopping boards, we have the cafe special. You can get the Phil Zanian chopping board set with thirty dollars off. Just go to the website breezyliving.store. So many features you'll like like about these, the way they're constructed, the way you can use them, red for meat, blue for seafood, green for your vegetables, they don't mark, and of course, the good thing is they're nice and flexible, so when you're finished using something and you want to put it in your pot, you just bend it like that and put it in your pan. And placed in the dishwasher as well, so really easy to clean. It is time to continue cooking this, cor uh, this curry, kofta curry. Yep, that's, that's right. Doing. right. Right, so in here I've got the, uh, I've got some onions, a yep. little bit of garlic and some green chilli and I've just blended it together. So you've got this almost sort of like this textured paste. Looks fluffy got, even, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's just from blending it and you've got a little bit of liquid in there and that's how we're going to get all this flavour into the uh, sauce. So that's going to be the base of the sauce now. So a little bit of oil into okay. a nice hot pan. 
Nice, and, and these gonna... meatballs are smelling incredible yeah. too, aren't yeah, they? So you're yeah, so you do a great job of that. So we've got a nice even sort of brownness around all the sides. Yum. So I've just turned it off and then we'll finish it in the curry a little bit later. So this is the sauce now. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's all going in there. So you want to keep um, keep stirring that and cooking that nice yep. and even. And then that's just going to bring out all the flavours. Oh, it and smells see, incredible. A, oh, you'll get so many aromas now. And you'll see there's quite a bit of liquid from the onion from blending it, but we want to cook all that liquid off. Okay. And then we've got a uh, little bit more ginger in here to go in the base, some crushed ginger. That can go in now. Yep. So we're keeping it over that medium heat as well. So you're not, you're not burning it, you're just controlling that heat, but you've got the heat to bring out all the flavours. Okay, so we've got some spices in here. Mix everything together nicely. Yes. Um, some ground coriander, um, some turmeric, and some cumin as well. So that's all powdered. Get that in now, and then we're just going to start cooking that out. Yeah, I can see why curries are so popular, because they are very aromatic, and they're quite quick and easy to make, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, you don't have to cook it for yeah. ages, you know, you've got all this flavour in all these spices, you know. I mean, you can get the whole spices, you can toast it off yourself, then you can grind it, you know, you probably get a bit more flavour out, right. out of it doing that way. But, I mean, you just get the ground spices, and it's a lot faster, you know, and you still heaps and heaps of flavour in there. So we've got the cashew nuts here. Cashew. Cashew nuts. I say cashew. Bless, bless you. Yeah, cashew. Yeah, that's what it does. Sounds like a sneeze. <laughs> is, it a, is it a pommy thing to say cashew? Yeah, that's just how I say it. That's, that's well, what we say in Manchester. Are you just saying that for all the Lions supporters that are here in the country? At the <laughs> yeah, moment? yeah, yeah, they'll understand. They'll know, yeah, for sure. Hope you're enjoying your stay, by the way, if you're watching the cafe, enjoying the tour. Sorry about the results, you know. Um, oh, oh, we've had a few wins. Well, a few. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not right. over yet. It's not over. No, you're right. Okay, so your cashew nuts are going yeah, around. Yeah, so, so we just, we just. <laughs> We're just crushing them in the pestle and mortar. So you just want a nice fine powder. Right. That's going to flavour and also help thicken the sauce. OK, cool. Right, so you can see now liquid's gone off here. Yes. All the spices are toasting. You're getting all those aromas coming out. Certainly am. Yeah, and now some tomato paste. So okay. that goes in and we just want to cook that out. Start yep. getting some flavour on that. And then that's going to give us that deep richness um, through the sauce. Beautiful. OK, the cafe.co.nz if you want the recipe to this. Nice and quick and easy. By the way, if you make any of the recipes, by all means, let us know how you go. Just get hold of us through Facebook. Post a picture of them. We'd love to share them with everybody else. All right, so I've got a little splash of water. That goes in just to loosen up. And then some cream as well. Yeah. I'm going to pop the cream in. So you want to bring this to the boil now? Yep. And then we're going to turn it down, simmer it, and then I've got some garam masala, which is sort of a mixture of spices, you know, those classic sort of Indian curry spices. So that just goes in, that's just going to cook out. Once that comes up to the boil, turn it down, we'll pop these uh, koftas back in just to finish off cooking, and then we'll pop our um, cashew nuts in. Is garam masala, is it a... Um... Is it a good herb, uh, good, good herb to have in the pantry, just in case? Oh, day? definitely, definitely, oh, nice. definitely. You know, if you, if you have, <laughs> you know, it's a mixture of all this. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> yeah, keep Gary in the pantry. <laughs> Gary you know, in the I'm so Kiwi, aren't I? <laughs> Jeez, I'm terrible. Oh, yeah, okay, this is looking good now, nice and rich. Yeah, so that's it. We'll get those in now, just so it's easy to stir through. And nice. then we'll start popping the um, meatballs in cof there. Koftas in there. Nice. And yeah, you can already see, you know, we've got a nice thickness Brilliant. in there. If it starts getting too thick and the koftas are not ready, just add a little bit more water and keep balancing it out. Cook it, it'll start reducing so you get that nice rich oh. uh, gravy around it. OK, this is fantastic. And so too is the cafe special on the full zani and chopping boards. If you want to get $30 off, go to the website breezyliving.store. It is all ready. Served it all. Extra oh. coriander and a bit of lime on the side. And there you go. It looks Ooh, spectacular. Wow. Nice work. It's really good. Jeez, 10 out of 10 for all your dishes, mate. Yeah, thank you. Spectacular.